Hey everybody, Mr. Love here. Um, today we're looking at a, um, at a physics problem that deals with um, acceleration over a period of time. Um, the forces that are associated with, uh, with a given acceleration knowing the mass um, and, um, and some other forces that are present with the internal force on the car. So the problem reads, um, we have a 900 kilogram dragster starting from rest that attains a speed of 27 meters per second in about 0.59 seconds. Um, the first part is find the average acceleration. Um, so from our, our formula for the toolbox, we know that acceleration is equal to the final velocity minus the initial velocity divided by the time period, or delta t. Okay, so um, plugging some things in here, we have the final velocity. Um, the initial velocity is from rest, so that's zero. F is equal to 27 meters per second. VI is equal to 0 meters per second. And the time that this happens over is 0 0.59 seconds. So making some substitutions, um, it's simply 27 meters per second minus 0 meters per second over this 0 0.59 seconds. Okay, and when you do that math, um, it should work out to 45 meters per second squared, making sure that our units are all accounted for, right? Meters, seconds, and then the extra seconds that we did not know. So that's part A. For part B, um, it asks, what's the magnitude of the average net force in the dragster during this time? So it's always helpful to, uh, to draw a small three-pronged diagram of the system. We have um, a surface and a car on that surface. Uh, there is some force that's acting on the car to make it move forward. It is accelerating at some rate, and that's 45 meters per second squared. And we know that the, uh, that the net force, or the sum of the forces, is equal to mass times acceleration or average acceleration. So the force is equal to the mass, which is 900 kilograms, times the acceleration, which we calculated from part A, which is 45 meters per second squared. Force net is equal to 4.1 times 10 to the fourth newtons, or kilogram meters per second squared. Okay, so this is the, the force that that car must undergo in order to have that acceleration. Part C, um, it says assume the driver has a mass of 68 kilograms. With what horizontal force does the seat exert on the driver? Um, we're going to assume that the, uh, that the driver, and it's a pretty good assumption, it accelerates at the same rate that the car does. So the driver accelerates at a rate of 45 meters per second squared. And essentially, it's just a repeat of the, uh, of the step right above it. So the force on the driver is equal to the driver's mass, which is 68 kilograms, times the acceleration, 45 meters per second squared force present on the driver is equal to about 3.2 times 10 to the third newtons. Okay, notice that the force on the driver is a little bit less because um, obviously the, uh, well significantly less because the, the mass of the driver is less than the mass of the dragster, so you need less force to get that mass accelerated up um, to the same speed. That's it. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you next time.